Yo, what's up squads? Welcome back to Regal Randy's Ranch. For those of you that are new here, we currently have a giveaway for a Blue Labs PH pet. To join the giveaway, just like the video, comment what strain you want me to grow next, and subscribe to the channel. Now today I'm really excited because Ethos just dropped new genetics and we got our hands on a limited edition strain, the Samo 78s. This will be a collector's item dropped only for a limited time and they're all signed by Colin himself. Only 2,000 of these girls will be made and we got design number 1 out of 4, batch 150 out of 500. I wonder how many pens he went through signing these. Since this is a new strain, no one has grown these yet, and they're the only Ethos strain that doesn't give you a preview of what the genetics will look like on the box. But from reading the description, I can only imagine that we'll be growing an insane plant. The total active cannabinoids are over 30%, and for yield, it doesn't even give the grams per meter squared. It just says Gigantosaur. Also, it's a cross between Pancake Ice which was bred by Ethos for Seth Rogen's company Houseplant and boasts extremely high THC levels, and Ethos Haze IBL. IBL stands for inbred line, aka the holy grail of cannabis cultivation. An IBL is a breed that produces offspring with stable and consistent genetics, usually from a single dominant phenotype of the strain, so we'll be expecting a very homogenized grow. So we're in the grow room and we're doing this run in a 2x4 AC Infinity grow tent. The first step is to clean everything and make sure the environment is sterile. Start by removing any debris from your last grow and disinfect the tent with 70% isopropyl alcohol or 3% hydrogen peroxide. I prefer to use hydrogen peroxide because it's cheap, natural, and doesn't leave any odor in your indoor grow area. Although if there was a mold or insect problem in my last grow, I would treat it with both or maybe even vinegar, as white and apple cider vinegar diluted down kills mold in as little as 20 minutes. Remember to use 70% isopropyl alcohol, and not 99% as rubbing alcohol with higher water content evaporates slower and increases the contact time to kill fungal spores. A purer alcohol solution on the other hand hardens protein walls and leaves a majority dormant. They will regain their vitality and life under the right circumstances. At a 70% concentration, protein coagulation occurs gradually, destroying organisms from the inside out. Grow tents also come with a removable floor tray, so make sure to take it out and clean under it to prevent mold and pests from developing there. Make sure the bottom is dry and velcro the corners to the frame to prevent wrinkles. Stagnant water can pool up in those crevices and create a breeding ground for gnats. Wrinkles also lower par by causing specular reflection. Proper reflection can get up to 30% more light on the underside of the canopy. We're going to germinate these in solo cups, so make sure to poke holes in the bottom of the cups to let the water drain. Then label them so they don't get mixed up and so you know when they were started. This is more important the more plants you have. I had some leftover Fox Farm Ocean Forest soil that already had worm castings and organic nutrients mixed in, so I just filled the solo cups with that. Next, lay down a spill tray and pot risers to raise the plant's roots off the cold floor. Finally, it's time to open these. The haze traits in these Samo 78s like to grow tall and give massive yields. They stretch hard and flower and are best suited for a pro grower. Let's cross our fingers and try our luck with growing too. Poke a hole for each seed about a centimeter deep and cover it gently with soil. Make sure not to overwater, as too much early on can cause root rot. We're giving them a couple of tablespoons of dechlorinated water to moisten the area. The water doesn't need to be pH'd at this stage. Now all we have to do is throw them on a lighting schedule of 18 hours on and 6 hours off. We're using a Spider Farmer SF1000, hanging it about 2 feet above the seeds and dimming it to 40% power.
Since there's not much to do, we can just water every few days and check back in after a week or two. Two weeks after the Cuddle-Eaton sprout, we have some thriving Samo 78s. We had to add a humidifier to get the 75% relative humidity we needed for the correct VPD. VPD stands for Vapor Pressure Deficit. Leveling an optimal VPD will let cannabis transpire water more quickly, which enables it to pull in more nutrients. In the seedling or clone stage, you want a VPD from 0.5 to 0.7 kilopascals. You can use a chart or get a sensor push to tell you your VPD. Alright squaws, make sure to check out the next part to see these Samo 78s in flower, and don't forget to join the giveaway.